hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to create arrow animations let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in CapCut, i want you to click the sign up option from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to create arrow animations in CapCut, you just have to follow these simple steps. Number one is once you open the CapCut app, open the project that you are working. If you haven't already, just click the start a new project so you can begin your work from scratch. Now, there are a couple of ways for you to create an arrow animations. Number one option is going to be going to the text section here. I want you to click on it and create a default text. Now, the default text would be something like create the plus button. Right? The text is going to be like a series of hyphens and a symbol arrowhead. Just if this one. And then I want you to, now for you to be able to create a smaller distance for the dashes right here. I want you to go to the character section. Right now, the spacing is kind of like zero. If you try to slim it down, you see you can create a seamless pointed arrow with the uh, arrow head here. All right. And then after that, the next thing is now after doing that, I want you to hover to the timeline and select the arrow layer. If you can't find it, basically it's here. Drag it all the way to at the beginning of the animation. Right click on it. And click the create compound clip the reason doing this is that so we can add an animation for this you see that right so i'm going to extend this clip all the way here if you want and then the next thing is now to add an animation here i want you to select the arrow go to the video section on top and go to the mask you see you have all these options for you Click the add mask, you have the split, film strip, circle, rectangle, stars, heart, and brush. And I want you to select the rectangle right here. You see that in place. And rotate it just like this one right here for the mask. And then move it all the way here at the beginning. Move the playhead on the beginning of the video right here to see what we got from. Now, if you play that again, what will happen is you would notice that you have created a simple arrow animation. All right. That's using the text tool. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.